Hello, everybody. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the court case that I've been involved in since June 11th, 2019, which was based upon the Flat Earth Challenge that we had posted after the publication of my ninth book, The Flat Earth as Key to Decrypt the Book of Enoch. Um, through Sacred Word Publishing, we posted a challenge to the world that should you be able to confirm either that there was true curvature to the Earth or that the Earth was moving in excess of 100 miles an hour, that you could win uh, the $5,000 that we had posted as reward and also the 3250 which others added to that prize pool. And so we had a number of different uh, contestants apply for and try to win that money, which those of us that have actually done the research, we know that without a question, curvature is non-existent. And that the dynamics of water also affirm that water cannot adhere to a ball and that it will always settle out in a level and that it cannot in any manner take on a curved form uh, as is shown in the depictions of the earth as a sphere. And so uh, an individual named William Thompson decided to sue me in a court of law saying that he had won this money, deserved the reward, and the basis for our contest uh, or our discussion and deliberation before the judge ended up being focused upon whether, in my case, uh, I appealed to the non-existent nature of curvature, and he tried to affirm that uh, the Earth was indeed round and spherical in shape, and to uh, confirm that through his software programs, curvature did exist and that he deserved uh, to be awarded this particular prize. And so in June 11th, 2019, the first case to be decided before Judge Judy Crow here in the Barrow County Magistrate Court, um, we came together at nine o'clock in the morning. He presented his side, I presented my side. We then had a Q&A where we could um, question each other. And then we had a final conclusive statement and then the judgment was rendered by the uh, superior, I mean the magistrate court judge, which she did side with me and stated that um, basically he had not done enough or proven in any manner uh, the sphericity of the earth and that he deserved to win the money and so the case was dismissed. Well, this is the actual court filing. The name of the case is 2019 MV 1104, which if you wanted to um, to ask the court for the actual documents which are um, associated to the case, you can do so. so immediately after losing this particular case, um, Thompson then filed a perjury case against me. And this case was supposed to be decided in court on the 23rd day of July 2019 at 1 p.m. And he said of, you know, as far as his claims that I had perjured myself, this is what he wrote. Platon says the defendant is indebted to the plaintiff as follows, for fraud and perjury. Mr. Garcia incontrovertibly lied in court in jaw-dropping falsehoods that are demonstratively untrue. Lying in a sworn testimony is perjury and an offense. He played on to the emotions of the judge by being a victim in grotesque theater. I am owed $15,000. And so it was decided that we were going to have to come to court again he was unhappy about the judge's decision in the first case, and immediately the day after, the, I mean, we concluded the case June 11th. On June 12th, he filed this perjury case against me. And so in, on 
July 23rd, 2019, when we came before the judge, well, actually, we never even got to the point. The judge uh, sent us out the day before uh, and called all of us and said that she was going to allow the case to um, swap over to the appellate court. And so this case was going to be combined with another case he had filed against me, an appeal to the Superior Court uh, for new ruling. And so the conclusions and the findings of the first case would be thrown out and we would have to basically retry the case before the Superior Court judge. His name is Judge Mingledorf. So the judge had decided to combine the case and had set it for November 16, 2019. Um, but my daughter-in-law, Joy, realized I was going to be speaking at the Flat Earth International Conference actually on this particular topic. Um, and so it was pushed to December 16, 2019. And so I had prepared myself for that particular case and we were going to come together, and I was really interested in um, his declarations that I had perjured myself, and I had also made it clear to the judge and to Thompson that I was going to countersue him for harassment, defamation, uh, and slander uh, for saying, you know, basically calling me a liar, uh, and that I had lied, in fact, uh, in front of a court of law which I had not in any manner, even though, of course, he did not accept or believe the statements that I had brought forth, which denied and affirmed that curvature was non-existent. Um, still, he had no heliocentric proofs to uh, contend otherwise. And so I was looking forward to uh, speaking about and rebutting whatever evidence he would bring forth in the following uh, case. And so that case set for December 16th, 2019, which would be uh, this following Monday at 1 p.m. It was just last week that I received these three letters, which conclude the case and um, allow me to move forward to other endeavors, because this has really been something that has weighed upon me. Not that I was uh, seriously concerned, but, um, you, you know, you, you never know with judges and uh, a court of law and uh, those that can decide upon a ruling. I mean, $15,000 is a lot of money and certainly something that I did not want to give to this individual over, you know, some kind of proofs which he did not, in my opinion, provide. And so, William Thompson in the, in the interim from July to December decided to hire uh, attorneys to represent him. And this is what I received from the Superior Court of Barrow County, the state of Georgia. It says, in the case of William Mankey Thompson versus Zen Garcia, Superior Court of Barrow County, Dear Mr. Garcia, in close, please find plaintiff's dismissal without prejudice. If you have any questions or require any additional information, please do not hesitate to contact us. Regards, Gardner Law Firm, Michelle Dukes, paralegal for Seth Meyerson. And then I received from the actual court itself. In the Superior Court of Barrow County, state of Georgia, William Menke Thompson, plaintiff versus Zen Garcia, defendant, civil action number, not going to read it again, dismissal without prejudice. Comes now, plaintiff, by and through counsel, files this dismissal of the complaint in the above captioned matter without prejudice. Plaintiff has paid all costs in this matter. Dismissing our case is not an admission that the proofs are not accurate. They are the dismissal merely due to the fact that the contest offered by Zen Garcia is as not properly enforceable in a court of law, according to legal counsel. 
respectfully submitted this third day of December 2019. The Gardner Law Firm, Seth J. Meyerson. And so with that, the case is concluded. I no longer have to worry about it or spend time in effort trying to defend myself and the non-existent nature of curvature. Uh, even though I was ready and I welcomed uh, you know, the, the follow-up to what was our win in the first case in the magistrate court case where Judge Crow did side with us and conclude that William Thompson did not provide ample proof to deserve uh, winning the reward money in this flat earth challenge. And those of you that um, you know, would like to look at and examine the details of this case, I challenge you as well to go and try to find curvature that it's easy to do with a simple test like the Bedford Level Experiment, which I did cite in the defense of my case, as well as simple laser tests that you cannot find curvature and that you can easily see islands, monuments, structures like the Statue of Liberty, cityscapes, lighthouses, well beyond what should be the uh, you know, possible according to the formula for not only determining curvature, but for actually finding it. Curvature is non-existent. And therefore, no matter what you think about the shape of the Earth, one has to consider the heliocentric Copernican paradigm that we have all been indoctrinated into. Because if there is no curvature, there's no way that the Earth can be round or spherical in shape. And if it's not spherical in shape, well, then the whole thing of the solar system and the Earth being one planet in orbit around the sun and that the sun is the center of the solar system, all that has to be thrown out and a new paradigm put into place to explain what we visually see and what we visually can confirm through the scientific method and experiments which, like the laser test, confirm that curvature is non-existent. And with that, thank you all of those of you that did pray for us and that supported us in this endeavor. We greatly appreciate all of you. And we have now uh, actual precedent established in a court of law and found locked into the record of the Barrow County Magistrate Court system the efforts and a deliberation before a judge as to the globe versus flat earth debate and whether curvature truly exists. And so you can, um, you can ask the, the different, you know, for the different documents and read uh, what I had spoken about and used in defense and come to your own conclusions. God bless all. Good night.